Hello online crew community, how are you going today? Hope you're having an awesome day, whatever part of the day it is for you. So today is social media tip of the week edition 17. It's been a few weeks between drinks. If you're not aware, I do a social media tip of the week at the end of the week. But because I've been traveling and I've been overseas in Vegas, I haven't done a social media tip of the week for a few weeks. So uh, yeah, this is number 17 picking up from a few weeks ago, which was 16. And what I like to do with this particular video is just alert you to something that's going on that you should be aware of or something new that you should focus on or reiterating something I've spoken about during the week, like just keeping you abreast of something important social media wise. Hello, beautiful Bella. How are you? Awesome to see you on live. So it's something that I do at the end of the week, all things being normal, which it hasn't been lately because I've been traveling. But this week, I want to share with you, um, there's a report that comes out every year. Hey, Valerie, great to see you on. There's a report that comes out every year, which oh, <laughs> for lack of better words, internet nerds like watch out for and um, you know take a lot of notice of when it comes out. And it's from a, a lady called Mary, what's her last name? Mary Meekers. And she does this report about internet trends and what we should be watching out for and what's moving and what's shifting in the internet world. And so I've just come across that report that's been released for this year. And I just wanna share some of the data with you. If you're not aware, hello, Glenn, how are you? Hey, Mel, how are you going? Can't find your ship, oh no. <laughs> There's a couple of them to choose from. They're further down the emojis, Mel, so keep looking. <laughs> Hey, Teresa, how are you? Great to see you on. There, she found it. She found it. Um, so I do like to bring you in my training every now and again when it's appropriate, um, data and research that, hey, Sandrine, data and research that comes out that it sort of makes us think and it's like, okay, this is where the shift is or this is where you should be focusing your attention or that's on the rise or that's on their decline. So keep a watch out for that just to keep you guys abreast of what's going on and where you should focus your marketing efforts. I find that that's really important information. So I research it for myself and then I bring it for you. So bring it to you so you don't have to do the research for yourself. So I'll bring you some of the um, sort of highlights from that uh, report in this video today. Um, ben, you're in the internet world. Well, you'll find today's video um, hopefully interesting. Um, how you going, Sean? So as you are coming in, please say hello. Put the palm tree emoji down below. That's a mascot emoji for our online crew community here. If you've not um, you know, come across one of my videos before, my name is Helen Martin and I'm your online crew captain. So we have the most awesome online crew community here. Hey Rodney, um, which is full of home-based business owners, um, sort of like internet marketers, direct sellers, network marketers, those in the MLM space. And we're learning to leverage social media to build our business online with modern social media strategies. So that's what we're doing here on this page and that's what we're striving for because we don't want to, hey Teresa, you're part of the 14 day um, video challenge, awesome. Tell me if you're in the video challenge those of you that are on live. You're just doing an awesome job. I'm so proud of you. I'll explain that in a minute for those of you that are unaware. Um, but we don't want to chase anybody about our business. We don't want to chase customers. We don't want to chase people to join us in our business. We want to attract people to us. So it's really important, um, you know, if you want to do that online, to keep abreast with what's going on because it changes so fast. Social media changes very fast and depending on your platform of choice, it changes um, you know, fast no matter where you are. So it's really good just to stay abreast of what's going on and what's getting more traction and where you should focus your attention on social media and that's what we I sort of teach here. So I go live here, hey Karen, hey Cindy, hey Iore, great to see you jumping on. I go live here uh, five days a week at the same time. So the beginning of the week, hey Valerie, I, hey Rob, um, I bring you something to do with personal development, personal growth, because seriously guys, I can teach you all the social media tricks in the world, but if you don't have it going on up here, or you don't believe you can, and all those kind of things, 
none of the technical tips are going to help. So that's an important part of our success when we are bit, you know, enter this world of being an entrepreneur because there's no one standing behind you going, here's your job description, here's what you need to do and just make sure you do that every day. When we enter in this online world, the online space and we become an entrepreneur, it's up to us. And sometimes that's hard to do. But sometimes it's hard to get motivated. Sometimes it's hard to know what to do. Sometimes it's hard to go into um, social media strategies like uh, Facebook Lives when you're really fearful of that. So it takes a lot of guts to enter this world. So there's a lot of things to learn and that's what we do here five days a week. Um, hey Patricia, how are you? Ben, online world is changing. Yes, it is absolutely changing all the time. And it is easier to earn money online. You just got to know what you're doing because you can actually waste a lot of time with your social media efforts and not get anywhere if you're not doing the right things. And one of the things that's really good for people to do is to go live like this. And a couple of days ago on June 13th, I started a 14 day Facebook live video challenge. And so they've started already. There's a lot of people in there that are really fearful of live video, but they're doing it anyway and I'm so impressed with your videos guys I'm loving watching your videos and just seeing you guys just you know openly being fearful but just grabbing it by the horns and doing it anyway so any of you that want to get on that I mean it has officially started but you could take all my training and do your own 14 days still follow all the training just start when you want to start that's possible too so just go to my website which is www.helenmartinonline.com about three quarters of the way down my website, there's a graphic with two palm trees on it. That Just click on that graphic and you can enter the video challenge if you want. So let's get on to today's um, content. Oh, and those of you that are my online crew leaders, where are you? Put the cruise ship down below. So those that are in my private coaching community, which is called Online Crew Coaching, that's what my group is called, put the cruise ship down below. Did you like the prospecting boot camp this week? Let me know, um, you know, down there what you thought of the prospecting boot camp this week because I thought there was a lot of cool information in there that you guys could utilize. So let me know. Thank you, Sean, for dropping the link to my website. So if you, you, know, if you need to know more, the video challenge, online crew coaching community, just go to my website. It's all there. So let's get on to the information that Mary has um, documented regarding key industry shifts. And I've got some notes here that I'm going to refer to. It was over 330 pages, guys. It's a big report. There is lots of information. There's information about different parts of the world and what they're doing on Online. like there's a lot of information that I'm not going to share with you here because I can't share with you 330 pages worth of information it's not all relevant to you anyway so I've just pulled out bits and pieces that I thought you, you might be um, interested to know so one of the main things that they had is only 50% of the world still is connected to the internet so one of the things reg regarding that is still there is so much more room for growth regarding the internet. Only 50% of the world. I would have actually thought it was more than that. But there's obviously a lot of countries that are, you know, underprivileged, etc. that, you know, don't have the ability to. But there's still only 50% of the world that are connected to the internet. So the report was saying there are still massive opportunities for growth in the internet um, land with, with that statistic, okay? Um, mobile use is growing. That should not be a surprise to you that mobile use is where everybody's at. But what was interesting on the back end of that is desktop use is not rapidly declining. So I know there is a lot of people that do everything on mobile and even those of you that are doing Facebook ads, you're stopping even doing um, ads to appear on desktop, on computers, because everything's on mobile. But the report was saying, yes, mobile use is increasing, but be aware Computer use, like um, desktop use, is not actually rapidly declining with that. If there's still a lot of people using computers, using desktop to com computers, don't, don't overlook that just because mobile use is in, uh, you know, increasing. So those of you doing Facebook ads, I mean, look at your own data, look at your stats where people are. You wanna look at your insights and all of that to see where people are coming from. But I just thought that was interesting. You'd think when one goes up, the other one uh, you know, might go down, but they they were highlighting, don't overlook those that are still using a computer because there's still a lot of people out there doing so, okay? There is a rise in two particular platforms and what was highlighted was YouTube and Instagram. So not LinkedIn and um, you know, uh, WhatsApp and um, 
uh, Snapchat and all of that, YouTube and uh, Instagram. So that's probably not a surprise to you. And there is a slight decline um, in Facebook, traditional Facebook, but the interesting one is a massive shift towards stories. So I'll get onto the actual wording of that at the moment. So YouTube and Instagram are on the rise. Facebook is slightly down, but that's because people are shifting into things like Messenger and Stories and what because they're different news feeds, guys. They're different algorithms. So they get treated differently in the stats. So what she was saying about stories is attention, so I'm just verbatim, uh, attention is moving towards stories. Therefore, marketers should be turning their attention to stories. So this was a big outcome from this report saying stories is where it's at and that's where you should be turning your attention. And I'm so glad to read that that's something that I've been saying to you guys for six months to a year. Stories is where, it, where it's at. It's a different algorithm to, um, you know, Facebook stories is a different algorithm to the newsfeed. It's where it's being favored. It's where you're getting a lot of eyeballs. Stories on business pages are getting more eyeballs than stories on a personal page and that's unheard of that we get more eyeballs sometimes on a business page than we do on a personal page, like lives and stuff like that. So huge shift towards stories. If you've been following me for a while, you should already know that. If you're still not up with stories, um, play. Just go and play, guys, because this is the future of where Facebook's going. We've already got Instagram stories, and now YouTube has got stories. It's the stories feature is popping up everywhere. So if you're not getting the message and if you're not playing around with stories, you're missing out on exposure. So go play, use emojis, use GIFs, use words, use get creative. It's so simple for you to take a picture or like Facebook stories, you take a 20 second little video, put a GIF on it and some words on it. And yes, it's only there for 24 hours, but you can save them and put them in albums you know, on your personal profile. There's so many things you can do with that. And the exciting thing about stories is clickable links from stories. And not while I was away in Vegas, so it wouldn't be the last couple of weeks. It must have been just before I went to Vegas. I did a live here. If you ever want to look at any of my lives, just go to... Um, you know, the videos tab or all my, all my videos are uploaded to YouTube as well. So you can go to my YouTube channel and you can get a link to that from my website, um, www.helenmartinonline.com. So every single Facebook live I, I do, I upload to YouTube. So you could just go there and have a look through my videos. I showed you the, that Stories now has um, the option, but you can only get to it a certain way. And that's what I showed you on that training. You can, you can only get to it a certain way on your business page. So it's only for business pages, not for personal pages, but you can add a link, a clickable link through Stories. Do you realize how powerful that is for your business on a business page? So Stories is where it's at, guys. Um, and there's going to be so many more features in stories. And if you're not using stories, you're not going to be rolled out to the new features straight away. You're going to be last on the list because you're not using stories. So you want to embrace stories. So whatever new comes out, you get it first. Okay. Um, you can even tag people in your stories now. Yeah, like Sean just said, there's so many more features. So stories is where it's at. And Mary's report actually highlights that. Remember the words I just told you. Attention is moving towards stories. Marketers should be turning their attention to stories. A huge outcome from her report, okay? Uh, no, more tips. So she was highlighting podcasts. Podcasts are clearly growing. So something to watch out for the future. You may not be anywhere near doing your own podcast, but podcasts is clearly growing. So that's an interesting one to watch for the future. Um, she also did highlight, though, there are, there are many rising health concerns related to social media usage. So there is a rise on, obviously, and you probably know this from yourself, the amount of time you spend on social media, the amount of time that you're flicking through, especially if you're on multiple platforms, you're everywhere, you're trying to keep up with everything. We live our lives through social media a lot of the time, and it's quite sad. And people are getting addicted. And that's quite sad. Like you leave your phone home and you feel like your left leg is cut off. Um, you know, people panic when they leave their, accidentally leave their phone behind or they misplace it for like 30 seconds. <gasps> Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Like we are so attached 
to you know mobile fines and social media it's a little bit sad so there is obviously rising health concerns regarding social media usage and how addicted people are getting to it and also highlighted in this report is gaming and things like um, Fortnite and how kids really young are getting addicted to gaming like Fortnite interactive gaming through social media and kids are not having fun anymore because they're addicted to you know gaming things like Fortnite and there was a stat int interactive gaming grew six percent worldwide in the last year six percent worldwide last year largely due to things like Fortnite uh, Rob, Gary V talks about podcasts. It's massively growing. Yeah, yeah. So Gary V is talking about it as well. Um, okay, what else have I got for, for you? Images and video are increasingly the means by which people communicate. Images and video are increasingly, say it again, the means by which people communicate. So images are very powerful. Images, somebody can look at an image and it tells a story straight away. The power of an image is something you may not appreciate. So words versus an image and video, particularly live video, is where it's at in trends moving forward and where you should be. So concentrate on your images and concentrate on your videos because that is, what did she say? The means by which people are communicating the most. Okay? Um, and I think there was one more I had for you. Video is currently the most engaging form of digital content. Let me say it again. Video is currently the most engaging form of digital content. Where are you? Where are your social media efforts? Are you doing video? If you're not doing video, you are missing out. That's why I do things like a free 14 day Facebook Live video challenge, which we just started a couple of days ago. Video is where it's at. And what were the words? Video is currently the most engaging form of digital content. As far as the um, algorithm, um, you know, the video, when you can get engagement and interaction, that's what's going to favor you the most on social media. Who cares about likes? Who cares about numbers? Do not measure your social media presence or success on numbers of likes, loves, anything like that. It doesn't count and it doesn't pay your bills. People interacting and engaging with you, which video enables you to do, um, is where it's at. It's true relationships, it's connection. It's not a numbers game, it's a connection game. So live video, video in general, can give you the ability to do that. But what she was also saying about video is, what's the word she used? People are upping their video game with what she called, it is a term, guys, it's called immerse reality with videos. So like some of you are just getting used to live video. This report is saying there's people that are upping their game in a massive way and going into immersive video. And immersive video is like 360 videos and bringing people into your life through video. And it's like, hang on a minute. We're just trying to get people doing live video, let alone immersive videos, like bringing people into your life and into your world and 360 views and stuff like that. So that's where we're headed. It's not only live video, it's what they're calling immersive reality videos. And it's like, wait, wait, <laughs> not ready for that yet, but this is where we're heading. This is what a report is saying is the trend. We're with video, but video is getting more sophisticated. So start with the basics of video, just get yourself on video first, then we'll worry about immersive reality video later on. And there's some people playing in that field already and she was identifying that this is where, we, this is where the shift in the trend is going. So yes, Rob, technology. Um, so we'll catch up with that maybe a little bit later. I'm certainly not in immersive video and I know you guys are probably not too, but this is the trend moving forward, okay? So I hope you got some interesting information out of that. I won't repeat them. You can go on back, back and watch the replay if you missed any of that. But there's some really good tips in there. And if there's two things I would say to get, get out of all of what I've just said there is one, the, the stories feature, embracing that in every way you possibly can. Particularly if you've got a business page, go and play. Anybody go and play. Um, yeah, Sean, immersive reality does sound fun. Like it's, you know, people are up, like there's people being played in the video world for years so there are people that are certainly upping their game with video and it's not all live it's um 
you know, getting really creative and technical and 360 views and, you know, all, all you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's what we, we can look forward to in the future. Um, so stories and video, stories and video, stories and video, stories and video. That's where I would recommend that you play in this world of social media at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed that. I do think it's important, as I do with my business, to keep up with this, this kind of research. And that piece of research is something that techie people look out for every year. So that's a very credible piece of research. Um, Mary, watch the movie The Circle. It's where we will end up and it's scary. Say goodbye to your privacy. Oh, interesting, Mary. I have to check that out. Thanks for the recommendation. So I hope you guys got something out of that and that it just gives you some ideas and suggestions as to where you should be focusing your social media efforts because you can spend a lot of time on social media doing the wrong things. So, you know, if you do push marketing strategies rather than pull marketing, attraction marketing type of strategies, it can destroy your social media, um, you know, presence. So it's really uh, important that you keep up with what's going on, keep up with the trends like that. As I see these things come out, I will do my best to keep you guys updated so you know where you should, um, you know, be focusing on. So was that helpful? Was that valuable? Did you find that interesting? Let me know down there. Um, and yes, Jennifer, how are you? Have a great weekend, Jennifer says. So let's leave it on that note. I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. And I look forward to catching you guys next week for another five days of awesome information training and social media strategies. So I will catch you then.